Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review and guys, it is finally time. The American 180 by Nova is here, officially full release on Nexus. I know we had a preview video not too long ago, but a lot has changed with this mod and so it's definitely worth checking out again for a full deep dive. Now it is complete with all of its animations, full leveled list integration, even more attachments at the weapon workbench, and a bunch of fixes and tweaking to the balance of the weapon that has been done since our little preview. So now it is time to check this thing out for its full release and I couldn't be more excited. This is honestly one of the most fun weapon mods I've ever installed, at least as far as ballistic firearms go. This thing is super cool, super customizable, and you can really do a lot with it, all in the form of a compact little 22 submachine gun. Now then, this mod has a lot going for it. It is the classic American 180, a 60s era weapon from Americana, but it also has a ton of tactical modern attachments that have been thrown on as a bit of a meme. You really can't take it too seriously but it is a lot of fun to see some of the goofy stuff you can do with this weapon. When it comes to obtaining this thing, there are actually a handful of ways you can get the gun. You can craft it over at the chemistry station along with its newly added 22 caliber ammo types, or you can find it out in the world on raiders, gunners, or even triggermen, and of course you can purchase it from different vendors. This weapon of course does come complete with beautiful custom animations that are all highly realistic and even has some of the really interesting quirks that the real American 180 has, including the fact that the drum kind of continues spinning after you've spent all of the ammunition in it. Super neat. And altogether, this just makes for an amazing new SMG. Honestly, this one is super cool. Let's just go ahead and hop right in game so we can start checking out the finer details of this mod. Here is what I would call the most basic version of the American 180 in this mod with all of its worst attachments. This thing is going to have a base damage of 7. Yes, only 7, though it does have an incredibly fast fire rate of 200. It's chambered in at 22, of course, has a range of 119, an accuracy of 54, a weight of 8.6 pounds, and a value of 558 caps, making this thing pretty valuable and definitely worth selling if you pick up a few of these. Now, there are some very fun configurations for this weapon, my favorite of which being this little shorty that I've made here with no stock, a little foregrip, and a super snubbed barrel. And of course, I've loaded this thing with rat shot, though you can do some much, much worse things to this weapon. You can, of course, start to teeter the line into tactical modern attachments, despite this being a very retro weapon. And I hate to say it, but I really like the look of this. This here, before we've gone full send, is actually kind of nice. I dig it. It's an interesting looking weapon. But we can do worse. And worse, of course, entails the use of infrared optics, insane amounts of Picatinny rails, and an absolutely ridiculous foregrip. And of course, a marksman stock. Because why doesn't your American 180 need that? But what if I told you you could get worse? because Nova has really gone above and beyond in this mod. I once challenged mod authors to see how many laser sights you could throw onto a weapon, and Nova responded by throwing on additional scopes. You can throw on a side-mounted scope, and it's not just this one, you can throw on reflex sights, this scope, anything to your heart's content. And the worst part? They actually function. Here we have what is the biggest scope that you can actually put on this weapon, and you can't even mount it to the top. It has to be mounted to the side, which is just insane. And if we actually use it, it totally lines up right where it's supposed to be. Now maybe that doesn't quite show it off correctly. Let's throw on a reflex sight. Here we have the reflex sight, and while it may not be immediately visible if we check under the hood, there it is. Fully functional. And it's honestly just hilarious. Now, of course, before we continue any further, we need to talk about custom animations because this mod definitely has them and they look fantastic. Let's go ahead and fire this thing off a few times so you can see what you're going to get. Absolutely beautiful animations, and the firing sound is just incredible with this thing as well. 
Now let's go ahead and talk attachments. I know you guys saw some of the presets I made already, but there is just so much more you can do to this poor weapon. Let's start off with the receivers. You have your standard set of receivers in a Nova mod, starting from weathered and going all the way down to military trials, which is going to give you a maximum damage of 11 using only the receiver. Though, I would recommend trying out the Bureau Rapid Action. It's going to knock you down from 11 to 10, but it's going to give you an additional 50 fire rate, which means you're going to be slinging lead much, much more than the military trials. And it even has better range. So honestly, I think that one's going to give you the best bang for your buck. But we can test that later in the damage section of this video. For barrels, we have the standard 18.5 inch factory. We can also throw on a carbine barrel, a snubbed barrel, the integrally suppressed barrel, and the extended barrel for those of you who want to try to snipe with this thing. For the grip, we have the standard Caskel grip or the Fab Defense polymer grip. For magazines, we have the standard magazine with 165 rounds and then the extended mag with 275. But then we also have 22 short magnum, which is a smaller bullet that is going to allow you to fit 220 rounds into the standard magazine and 365 rounds into the extended. And that truly is an extended magazine. For sights, we have your standard iron sight. We have the PK-06 reflex sight, the Micro T1, the MRS reflex, the SRS-02, the OKP-7, the Axion Cobra, the Vortex hollow sight, the EOTech hollow sight, the EOTech 552, the Spectre assault optic, the Bravo 4 assault optic, the NC Star P4 Assault Optic, and the L3 Harris Night Vision Thermal Scope. Then for muzzles, we have the standard steel counterweight, but we can also throw on a Bullet Tech Compensator, the Hera Arms Muzzle Brake, the Raptor Muzzle Brake, the PWS CQB Compensator, the Zenit DK1 and DK2, the Strike Industries Cookie Cutter, the Generic Low Caliber Suppressor, the Modded Foreign Sound Suppressor, the Wrapped Sound Suppressor, and the Custom DK2 Fitted Sound Suppressor. And this thing is absolutely massive and looks like it belongs on more of a Barrett than an American 180. But hey, pretty cool. For finish, we do have the option to change out the colors on this weapon. We have the Worn with Wood Furniture, the Worn with Polymer, the clean with wood and the clean with polymer. We also have a couple of camos with a woodland spray, the forest green, marshland, hunter, jungle explorer, desert fox, tiger stripe, art deco, snake bite, and operation anchorage. For the stock, we have the option to remove the stock entirely, use the standard fixed stock, the adjustable wire stock collapsed and extended, the Kalashnikov skeletal stock, and I gotta say, for whatever reason, I actually like that, the AR-15 buffer tube, the Ultralight Ace stock, the Magpul Carbine stock, the Sop Mod stock, and the Magpul Marksman stock. For the handguard, we have the standard M1, the M1928 vertical grip, the RSAS tactical handguard, and the RSAS tactical handguard with Lalax foregrip. Throwing on this right here, the one specifically with the foregrip, is what's going to allow you to use those side mounted scopes. Without this foregrip, you won't be able to do that. So, Take that as you will. And then we also have the option to throw on reticles. From 1 through 9, this is just going to change the reticle depending on if you're using a reflex sight. You can change out the style of it. And one last thing, of course, with these handguards, if you throw on any of these tactical ones, you'll get the option to add on different laser sights and some scopes on the front end. But it's all the same as the stuff that we already went over. All right, and it is time once again to do the damage test for this weapon. Now, I know we did damage tests before in the preview of this video, but a lot of the damages and ammo types have been tweaked to be a bit more balanced, so it is definitely worth taking a look at it once again. I also want to see how this weapon performs with the damage perks, as I'm sure that's going to make it a lot more serviceable. And weirdly enough, this weapon actually scales with riflemen rather than commando, so I want to check that out as well. For starters, we're going to be using the regular version of the American 180, no attachments and no perks, with 165 rounds in the magazine. Let's see how it does. And 165 rounds later, the Deathclaw is nearly dead. It's just going to take a few more. All right, in terms of time to kill, it's not too terrible, but the amount of bullets you're spending is an awful lot. 
let's try something a bit more powerful with some perks added on top. Switching over to a fully upgraded receiver and a high damage ammo type, and throwing on a maximum rifleman perk, let's see how this weapon performs once you have all of the bells and whistles. And that is so much better, and this is a pretty basic loadout of the weapon. Let's try something a bit crazier, like the rat shot, which is essentially a shotgun blast coming out of this weapon. Oh yeah, that is a whole lot of fun, and for those who didn't see the very first video that we covered this weapon in, this is what rat shot looks like against that wall. As you can see, it absolutely just paints everything in front of you with bullets. Pretty insane. Finally, let's check out some high explosive rounds on this last death claw here. Also very effective. Things like the rat shot and the high explosive are definitely going to be better suited for spray and prey, though there are some ammo types that allow you to have a bit more accuracy and maybe even take down those targets a bit faster. But totally up to you and what your play style is. Regardless, there's a lot of fun to be had with this thing. Now, sadly, the video is not quite over yet because I just realized after the fact that I done did a goof and forgot to include a section of the weapon attachments, and that is the ammo types. And that's what really makes this weapon shine is all of the different types of ammo you can throw on this thing. Now, most of them are going to be pretty standard. They're just going to tweak out things like the range and damage. But we do have a couple of interesting ones like incendiary, rice and payload, which is going to add in poison, high explosive, and as well as that wonderful rat shot, which is just a shotgun. It turns this thing into a shotgun. Full auto, because that's what you need. But yeah, that is the American 180. It's all here and ready for you to download. One more thing before we go, as I'm sure a lot of you are asking, is this going to be on Xbox? As of right now, this weapon just came out today. It is only available on PC, but Nova has stated that he's open for anybody to port it. So... As soon as somebody wants to, they can port it over to Xbox and it'll be available for Xbox users as well. So anybody can have fun with this thing. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to try this mod out for yourself, it'll be linked down in the description below as always. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a rating. Consider subscribing if you haven't already for more videos just like this. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Big shout out to all of my patrons, and if you want to check out the Patreon yourself, it is linked down in the description below, but it is completely optional, though there have been a couple of changes around there, so it may interest you. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Peace!